TSI, um, TSI with um, DK. Yes. Yeah, so, um, what do you do at? Yeah, and she has um, company Black Up. And what do you do? What do the people do here? We are makeup artists. This is a fashion show where they have all these brands available. So we are just doing the makeup for the models and everybody else who's around here. Mm -hmm. That's really cool because um, like when I was younger, like not that young, you know, seven or six, um, I wanted to be a makeup artist because I like doing makeup and I'm kind of good at it if I say so myself. Yeah, you look cute. So you can do that for sure. It's a nice industry to work in. It's actually very, very fun. You can go crazy with the colors. You get good clients as well. So, and it pays. It does. <laughs> um, so, is this like the only thing that you do? So, how uh, many years has Black Up been? Um, uh, around. Yeah, Black Up has been around since 1999 and it's been in South Africa since 2006 and I've been working for the brand since then. We started at Woolworths and then we ended up in exclusively in Edgar's stores now. At your store? Edgar's. Uh, what's Edgar's? <laughs> Edgar's is a retail store where they sell clothing and stuff so yeah, it's a good, good, good company. Yeah. Anything else to say about your job? Like, oh yeah, what skills do you need when you do your job? What skills? Yeah, what skills? Do you need to do the job? Like, you need to know makeup, you need to distinguish colors, you need to know how to do different types of looks, like your smoky look, your elegant look, your natural look, and you need to know as well, like your celebrities, which functions they go to, and then what kind of makeup will go with the, the attire they wear as well. So you need to know all those things, you need to do research about the other brands that are available as well, that have makeup. And then, yeah, that's how you know how to do your own Any job. school skills? School skills, you need to know how to distinguish what's good for the skin. Like your skin care, you need to know what's, what's excellent for the skin care so that you don't, your product doesn't damage people's skin and then it's, it's healthy to use. It's actually, it doesn't contain too many harsh elements in it and then too much fragrance as well. So you need to know how to distinguish between different skin types as well. And then that's how you're gonna go right with the different undertones in the skin of everybody because everybody has different undertones like your yellow undertone, red undertone, so you need to distinguish that and as soon as you know that that's how you're gonna get the color of the foundation right any tips some to somebody maybe even me who want to be a man? keep practicing the more you do it at home the more you get it right so do your own makeup at home start it start there and then you can get excellent the more you do it the better you get at it well done <laughs> Well, that was DK at TSI and Go Go Media Girl.